Hey there everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the 2v2 league. Uh, gonna be a match here between myself and Tarn Armor, playing as Gold Chiefs, obviously, you know who we are. And we're both random, because that's what you do. Against, uh, the DOK Fathers, which, I take, I take much offense at this name. Don't we all know that that's, uh, Garmalator? Isn't he the father of DOK? No, just kidding. Um, uh, but yeah, that's gonna be Tom Zeno and, uh, Bob. I, I just call him Bob, man, I think we all do. Um... <laughs> P. Bobbert, I guess, whatever. He's the one who's writing the, uh, the writing? That's not the right word. Who's making the balance patch, um, the Desert's balance patch. There's, there's two, you know, A-games and Bob's. And I haven't actually covered Bob's very much, but there's gonna be a tournament for it coming up pretty soon, a 2v2 tournament, and I'll be covering the matches from that, so hopefully that'll sort of rectify that. Uh, looks like all four of us going for Strikecraft Fabrication right off the get-go, except for me. Oh, yeah. Gotta be the odd one out, don't I? Um, oh, shut up, phone. No time for chess. <laughs> I've done that before and people got mad. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, so Turn Armor and I were talking before the game, like, you know what would be cool? AAVs and Railguns have a really nice synergy. You can, you know, do a build where you have, like, AAV Rail, and it's pretty, pretty powerful. What if one of us rushes AAVs and the other one rushes Railguns? That'd be pretty cool, right? Uh, and then I rolled Sogon, and he rolled Coalitions, so we were like, hey. So that's definitely our plan for this one. Um... I'm gonna go for some eco first because I don't really feel particularly confident uh, doing like a rail rush without you know two bases to back it up. Uh, but first, I'm gonna go for a couple of LAVs just because I don't want to um, you know give up all of the how do you say all of the early game map presence to the other team. Turn armor already with AAV fabrication on the way, by the way. Uh, <clears throat> so don't check tech choice from these other two players, and they're probably going to expand. That would be my thought. Have to see though. And it's actually quite a number of LAVs coming out on the field from Bob, as well as Tomcat moving out with his production cruiser and some sand skimmers as well. So it looks like they want to do some uh, early strike craft plays here. Railgun fabrication on the way for me now. But I don't want to make those railguns till I know that there's actually a target for them, so naturally I'm going to wait for just a little bit there. Strike craft catch my base runner out a little bit here, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, no reason to use a targeting jammer here, just waste some money. And actually, I've chosen to retire it already, it's kind of. It's kind of funny. Uh, but Tarn Armor is already making AAVs, so we're not going to be pressured by these strike craft at all, really. Um, and this will tell our opponents, you know, like, what our... Like, what his strategy is, anyway. It's going to be an AAV rush. Um, we all know it. They can't come out that quickly, otherwise. Uh, seeing that I'm not going to get pushed any further, I am going to cease to retire the base runner. So, he will he will yet live. And then a couple railguns are going to come out. I, I said that I was going to go eco first. I thought I had done that. I guess not. <laughs> Anyhow, railguns are out, AAVs are out, uh, and it's rush time. Bob gonna set down a turret post over here, and once again, actually, we've got all four factions uh, represented, don't we? He's playing Coalition, of course. Quite a lot of strike craft here, but it shouldn't really be able to do anything against two AAVs, I wouldn't have thought. That turret will, though. Probably Turner wants to smoke the turret and get away. Uh, but he may not have noticed that this was happening here. After all, quite small to see that thing, right? So there goes one AAV. The second one actually going to take a lot of damage too, which is pretty unfortunate. Um, but we're going to chase down this uh, this base runner right here, see if we can deny that artifact extraction. And the Strikecraft forces of our, our uh, opponents are a little bit split up there, so that'll also be kind of nice. Not exactly sure why I put a targeting jammer right there, but you know, whatever. And then railguns were there to um, take out this turret here, but uh, now a turret gets set up in that location as well. So I'm gonna hold my strike craft right here. I like carrier taking fire. Were there blast drums? I think there were just blast drums over there that I missed. Kind of explains why that happens in game so often, yeah. I didn't even catch it myself. Um, but yeah, AVs are up on top of this uh, these turrets now. I'm actually gonna lose a. That was a little sloppy. But that's all right. The turret should go down now. Um, base runner also went down with that artifact, but it looks like Tomcat will still extract. Yeah, that must have been some blast drones up there. I, I didn't see it though. I'll probably get chased back to my main here though. Uh, three LAVs does not exactly five sand skimmers beat, although they're moving in kind of an odd direction so. That'll be fine for me. 
We can model the distance differential between the sand skimmers and the LAVs, but... Sorry, sorry, I, I don't know why I had that on the line. Um, support crews are coming out for me now, so I want to expand my eco here. Turn armor gonna cover me against Strikecraft with this AAV, and this takes some more coordination when one player's gonna do the AAVs and one player's gonna do the railguns, but I think there... I think there is indeed some, uh... There is indeed some synergy there, but... Um, I don't know, it, it didn't seem like it had worked out the best for us. We were so delayed in the early game trying to deal with the turrets and whatnot. So perhaps there's some potential here, but I don't really know. Um, you should notice like one sense, uh, salvager going down over there, but there's enough rails here to hold that off, so... No more than that, I would say, are uh, gonna be killed at this moment. Artifact has been extracted by Tomcat, so he can put two power into the cruise missiles if he wants. That's probably what he'll end up doing. We've gotten an artifact as well, which is always nice. Put one more power into the ALMs, and those things are pretty, pretty, uh, spicy. Pretty darn spicy. Sport cruisers in the area. Uh, two more soldiers coming out, so I'm expanding my eco here. Um, and it kind of looks like the mirror image on both sides, doesn't it? Uh, turn armor, of course. Wait, we don't have a refraction represented. What was I saying? But yeah, turn armor not on two bases, neither is Bob. But Bob can get onto it a little faster. Turn armor probably... Making a sport cruiser right now? I can't tell though. No, I don't think he is. Um, but he should be doing that pretty soon or else he'll start falling behind an eco. Of course, Savon Rail's on the high ground gonna be basically anything else, so. So the siege continues. We've kept up this pressure here on the early base. We haven't really gotten too much done. I think we've only gotten really just one salvager kill, so. Uh, that, that's not been bad for us, I think that's fine, but, um, we certainly haven't, you know, we haven't gotten the value that we were expecting, like, the AAV rail rush to be able to get. Which is fine. Uh, this is definitely still a very playable game for us, but, uh, we were hoping it would be, like, revolutionary, new meta or something. No, not really. That being said, field control does go pretty definitively to our side here. There's only really two sand skimmers out, and this base runner should get killed pretty much immediately. I'm gonna go for AV fabrication myself as well, and turn armor probably ought to go for railguns about this time. Uh, one of these could be pretty spicy, actually. Hmm. I don't know. There's a lot of there's a lot of options in 2v2 that you don't usually see in 1v1. Uh, turn armor gonna tickle the space runner, which is nice for them. You notice how fast he did that too, he must have been watching. Um, so yeah, that's nice. Uh, it means that we can't pick it up, obviously, but that one's still open, so... Probably gonna move over there with my base runner. I've mostly gotten AAV fabrication because I want to get those heavy vehicles upgrades, but it's also nice to be, um, like, independent in terms of, you know, your defense. And then, at this point, turn armor said, okay, let's attack over on this direction, then they probably won't be, uh, prepared to handle that. Meanwhile, I'm going to be expanding onto a third base. Uh, is Tarn Armor getting onto a second now with that Sport Cruiser? Um, these two players both on two, but it looks like Tomcat, yeah, with the Production Cruiser, he's going to move on to his third base now. But that's good, that's where we're going to be attacking, and he only has four heavy railguns here to deal with it. Seven Saban railguns should really not be a contest, I don't think. Although I'm doing kind of funny stuff with these rails, but eventually I'll push in, probably. Probably. Heavy Vehicles Armor 3, by the way, out for me, and Mag Accelerator should already be researched, so those are going to be some pretty tough railguns, too. Uh, and yep, Turn Armor has gone for railgun fabrication himself. <clears throat> Getting onto a third base, too, you notice how fast he did that. Uh, we can both kind of sense that the early game is over. Bob's going to do the same, so all three player, uh, all four players can expand to a third base then. Except for Tomcat, I guess he's actually moving back with the carrier. I guess he wants it on his main location, so he can move the production cruiser out, which is... Uh, Pretty unfortunate for him, I think, because uh, we're about to attack on that on that flank there. But yeah, having the map control, I think, is important enough on this map that this is going to be very good for us. Rails are in this area, and Bob is wisely going to smoke them in case I was going to try to push. Obviously, you know, 7 on 3, I'm going to win that fight, so he wants to conglomerate with Tomcat before he begins the fight there. Some cruise missiles are going to come flying out, um, and they were expecting us to push in again, it seems. But now here we are on this location, gonna be a production cruiser snipe, almost certainly one should expect. So that's pretty nice. Uh, and we can maybe even do some damage to the other one, but... Turn Armor's AVs have got us easily covered uh, for strike craft. 
rails are here to deal with opponents' rails and AAVs. And uh, that would be a successful push. We've also held uh, Tomcat off of his second location for just a little bit of time, which is always very nice, obviously. Um, and Bob's army kind of getting killed here as well. Doesn't really have too much left on the field at this point. I also went for uh, missile battery fabrication just because I'm a bit worried about air. I always am. Oh yeah, and look at that. There is actually air from Tomcat. So this army here probably going to get killed at this point. Uh... <coughs> I actually had a shot through that smoke there, that's pretty funny. But yeah, you, you can see kind of what I meant about this um, difficulty to coordinate there. I actually wanted to take the fight with the rails, but he didn't. Um, it's very difficult to coordinate that kind of idea, so it's pretty it's pretty uh, expectable, I think, when you're when you're doing this kind of a composition where one person handles the rails, one person handles the, um, the AAVs to like have sort of miscommunications like that. I've got support cruisers on all my bases, I'm going to move my carrier out here and get support cruiser anti-air, it's going to cover me for, you know, anti-air I guess back on the base um, and I like moving my carrier out here because it means I can put down some forward ALMs which are very nice uh, they can supplement an army quite nicely and I'm also going to go ahead and get battle cruiser fabrication the idea here obviously being to um, well build battle cruisers but <laughs> they, they would be able to really well supplement this army of railguns here because they don't die very easily at all uh, and that, that's a big deal of course mortar going to get used on that AAV and do like 2 damage of course I'm not really sure why I tried that uh, <laughs> that's the power of Soban engineering. I think that's armor three for Bob, right? Yeah, it is. But Soban railguns, man, they are strong. Not easy to deal with them. Uh, sport cruiser anti is finished, so this wing of um, interceptor is gonna try to come in and do some. Oh my gosh! Well, I guess it worked pretty well, actually. Um, and some of them did take damage, but not too much. I think I had this LAV over here to check for blast drones or something, but I'm not really sure, honestly. There's quite a lot of sort of dead space on this corner of the map there. So you always kind of want to check out, uh, watch out for that. These rails here in a nice high ground position, but I still have the numbers on them. Tomcat's heavy rails coming up over the dune, but they're not in position to fight just yet. So this is definitely when I want to take this fight. And the missile battery is coming up close as well, hoping to get some uh, some mortar shots off. And I think they can right here. Uh, it's almost there anyway. My carrier is also right in the middle of all this, by the way. And that's actually not bad because it's going to be dropping some rails here, but um, it's a little bit exposed. Well, that mortar... Mm, no, I would have missed anyway. <laughs> I tried, you know, I tried. Uh, Battle Cruiser Fabrication finished now, so one of them is on the way here. Um, and that'll make things much harder for our opponents. It's obviously pretty difficult to deal with those Battle Cruisers, they just don't want to die, you know. And there's a Sport Cruiser out in the area now, so I don't need missile ships, or missile batteries for my anti-air. I also have repairs, which is nice. Speaking of which, gonna send this guy back, heal him up. Um, and Turn Armor's, doing, uh, Turn Armor's AAV is doing a great job spotting for me here, but they can probably smoke and pull back now, as I've kind of done the same. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident, you know, we can we can build up a little faster than them. I, I think I missed it, but there was a backstab against Tomcat again. I'm, I'm not totally sure, though. But that would explain why he's not on those bases at all right now. I think that's what happened. So, time to get power reserves, I think. I'm going to start researching those. Turn armor also already on power reserve 4, actually. So, cruise missiles are not far away. Uh, Bob's still <coughs> getting power reserve 2 here, and Tomcat obviously is con F, so that doesn't really, doesn't really make such a difference here. But turn armor with a very powered up carrier, feeling pretty confident push out in the middle there. I would agree. Uh, I think he's... I think he's definitely in a position to do some damage with that thing. This turn we got... No, he doesn't actually have support cruiser anti-air. Oh, so that anti-air turret post was a good thing. Uh, Tomcat seems to know it. He's gonna fly in over here. And I think that support cruiser is gonna be easy pickings for him now that that anti-air turret post is gone. Off it goes. Oh, you know, like one more shot and then it'll be in. Our unit's getting pretty split up over here, but I think it's because we want to um, attack over on this flank again. But there's actually nothing there, so it's, it's kind of funny. Battlecruiser is finished, though. 
And with battle cruisers or Saban ones anyway, with the railguns on them, yeah. The idea is kind of like, until the unit dies entirely, you've lost nothing. You know what I mean? So you just want to do your best to keep that unit alive for as long as possible. Um, Turnover trying to smoke against the rails, I think, for his AAVs to come further in. But yeah, one thing that's super important to remember about those battle cruisers is that they have the smoke screen ability, and that you really just have to use that thing. It's uh, it's incredibly effective this kind of stuff. Well, I'm going to try to move out with this carrier here, but it's not powered up very much, and there are quite a lot of railguns in the area. Um, quite a lot of railguns, actually, and Tarn Armor slipping in through the back line here with quite a lot of power and power 5 on the way. I'm over here, my carrier obviously not going to be very effective here, but I've got quite a bit of stuff, as you can see. Uh, a bunch of railguns and this battle cruiser all kind of hooting in on this carrier here. We may even get the kill here. Eh, it doesn't look like it. Um, Gonna get smoked up there, but once the cruise missile finishes for Tarn Armor, Bob's gonna be in a lot of trouble. Unless he's healed his carrier up there, it may just go down. We're also pushing on the other flank over here against Tomcat. He's on high ground, but once again, we've got the numbers. And the Sobonness, I guess, so that's always nice. Uh, pretty good cruise missile as well. Yeah, I was not paying attention to that one. Actually, you're gonna sneak an extraction out here as Bob, which is pretty cool, but oh yeah, of course I've missed the carrier going down. Uh, that's pretty typical. <laughs> But that has indeed happened. It was not to the cruise missile. It looks like it was just to these um, railguns right here. Tomcat going to be left alone here, and he's not really worried about this force, obviously, but his eco has been cleaned up pretty nicely. Uh, and with that cruise missile finished now from Tarn Armor, a whole bunch of railguns and a battle cruiser headed over the, to that direction for me, we should be doing just fine here, so. That will be difficult for Tomcat. I'm also about to get Parazer 4, which is when the Saban get their cruise missile. You have to research it separately, but um, that'll be that'll be pretty nice. And the Conniff Carrier, of course, uh, has a lot of trouble dealing with that kind of stuff. In fact, speed of 40, I'm like... Yeah, battle cruisers are actually faster than Conniff Carriers. This just in, right? So... Cruise missile gonna go ahead and land right next to this carrier. Does quite a lot of damage, as you can see. And here come those rails. How about those rails, hmm? Tom's carry getting to pretty low health here. And he should die at this point. So that will be the game. And uh, Gold Chiefs reigns supreme, you know it. Um, content my cruise missile and us, we're both undefeated, so... Obviously we need to play each other sometime soon, we haven't actually found time to do that though. But, um, that was a pretty fun game. I was happy to play it. Actually, Turn Armor's mic, for some reason, just, like, wasn't working. So we had to, uh, we had to just play without one. Um, but perhaps that's a bit more fair. That may be how the other, uh, players have been doing it, so. But, yeah. That was a really fun game. I think it was nicely executed by all the players involved, so I was very much pleased. Hope you enjoyed it, too, and I'll see you guys next time.